for, for plebs, by plebs, dropping the Bitcoin only signal. Pleb underground. Welcome everyone to the Pleb Underground. Pleb Underground, 104, the show you know who for. It's late September now. It's almost Q4. I like a little party privilege. Don't like to Q4. I'm Walton on the intro. It's Phil like Q4. GM Bitcoin, Council of Autism, Fresh Spaces. Some of us been here and some fresh faces. Discuss daily news, always fresh cases. Use the cards you're dealt, not always fresh aces. Too many just mumble, but they call themselves rappers. Not too many humble, host spaces, but clap hers. Some think that they're ahead, but some of us lappers. My bars with no beats. I'm for real, all cappers. So many wear the mu smiley mask, but underneath they're hateful. They think that they're in the Hunger Games and they're a plateful. They thought through one strategy, I contemplate all. They love my force, so don't need to push the date pull. I might just steal a 10. You only jack nickels, son, I'll deal then. Grab a pack, sickles, swing smooth like this cut. Track prickles like my stubble, one shot, back trickles. I'm looking good, fresh haircut. Inheritance, they want their cut. If you trust in their will, there'll be an air cut. Not from the cloth I'm cut from. You know that they're not. Some need to zoom out, can't see the forest for the wood. Each word is precise, my escape not from the hood. I might not be nice, but you know that I'm good. Don't need to ask twice, you know that you would. Water is not as thick as blood. Shots that I'm making. Like decks to blood spots, I'm not Jamaican. No extra blood clots, I'm not on the take. Can you next to blood thoughts? Past 58, nine, through and higher. I might pine through the mire. Meme, it's fine, through the fire. Spit my line through the wire. Your game is poor, like escaping that basement. I thank God for the pretty face scent. I know that she's fine, but I know what that face meant. Make some space at mine, let some bathroom product placement. Nostra is for free speech, but you can't ally X. Twitter is for free, preach by and take an L. AXE, whomever they please, each try. Final foreplay, ecstatic touchdown with the underground, my boy in a LAX. Absolute fire, Walton. Great rhyme, great rap. Guys, welcome back to the Pleb Underground Weekly episode and joining us today, new new addition to the Pleb Underground, new content creator and longtime friend, longtime friend to the uh, to the show and uh, myself and Walton. That's right, Sir Ulrich. Absolutely awesome to have you joining us today, man. It's cool. Uh, I mean, there's nothing else to say. I'm down with the underground <laughs> and I'm happy to be here, man. <laughs> sweet sweet all right let's let's do it man all right we're gonna move it on over to the numbers yeah the numbers of course brought to us by time chain stats and time chain calendar what are the numbers look like this week phil at the time of this recording the block height is 862,426 the bitcoin fiat exchange 63,063 oh but it went down oh that, no it's kind of there anyways yeah so 58k gang down bad or up anyways doesn't make a difference all right big max for btc 12242 that's right you're getting more crap at mcdonald's for your bitcoin total public lightning capacity 5137 that's right guys lightning is dead with over 5000 bitcoin on it. it's just not working uh let's see fastest fee four sats per v byte uh inexpensive transactions that's that's just awful um what else? Moscow time, 1586. Wow, those are the numbers. Uh, yeah, so blocks keep coming, and uh, looks like uh, looks like Bitcoin's dead here at uh, at 63k. I'm hearing rumblings. I'm hearing rumblings from people calling 63k the new 58, and I find this very uh, premature. I I don't see how people can like 58k has such. Um, I I feel like a, a deep you know, rooted history in Bitcoin, right? And and in terms of the in terms of the price action, that I, I just don't understand how people can just willy nilly fucking yeah, 63k. It's it's the new 58. Like, look, I I'm totally happy to take that number because it's better than 58. But but I think we need to. It has happened a few times. Like it, 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 it's almost it is almost this this year's version um, of it. I remember like it first hit 63 for the first time or the first time in a couple of years um in march like i was on the way to madeira on the way to bitcoin atlantis uh by end of february something like that like and th mm. that was the like first like kind of pump like to the, then the, then ended up bit going towards an, an all-time high um but but uh when it comes to 58k um 
Um, I, I don't like to speak for yellow, and uh, but I, I certainly can speak for yellow on this. Fuck 58k. Um, these guys are scammers. Uh, they're they're bears. Uh, fuck the bears. Uh, 58k is a is a psyop. They're trying to they're trying to uh, push the price down, and we can't let them. Uh, fuck 58k. Thank you. That was his TED talk. Uh, Ulrich, what are your uh, what are your thoughts on 58k? I don't and know what's going on. Who... I don't know who they paid off to make a mockery of the entire Bitcoin network, but there were some whales that were having a very, very fun time manipulating the price. They, played, forever. they, they, they paid off Tahini's. Look, the the, the, <laughs> Turk, the Turkish are allied, like, and and uh, it's a it's a it's a yeah. Contra Down with globalism. Um, yeah, I I'm not gonna say we won't ever see 58k again. I'm not that foolish, so I'm just gonna say enjoy it while it lasts. I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. Are you still a 58k enjoyer though? I I feel like I I, I don't you know I I remember enjoying 58k in a different way uh, the first time we hit it, and then I remember um, subsequent times enjoying it differently and now i'm at the point of i'm at like 58k exhaustion like i am no longer a yeah, 58k right, so, so exactly exactly so fuck 58k <laughs> and let's go back to talking okay. about lightning because it's way okay. more important right all right so, i'll like, say this that you, people probably Phil, enjoy you, talk, you, give, you give us a static number but like let's have a look at actually a graph of what's going on with lightning liquidity over time right so uh it looks like we're kind of reapproaching all-time highs in to total liquidity on the lightning network um yeah um and the lightning and it's, it's like 500 uh bitcoin has been added in the last couple months but if it doesn't work why are people doing this also like you see you see That's, you see yeah. you see this bit here like right here where where it then goes like <laughs> choo, you see yeah. that that's yeah, when sure plebnet, was plebnet was founded here in 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 the in in late april 2021 um, uh, 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 and then that happened it's such a wonderful story i love it i remember the first time you told me that i was like man yep. that's pretty insane because i do remember when when you were doing plebnet and i thought that that was absolutely fantastic i was thinking to myself here it is a whole bunch of people just being enthusiastic I just told people to about go there. Lightning. There were way there were way more people that did so much more work. I just told people where to go. Um, well, that's part of it, though, right? But still, <laughs> come on, you pat yourself on the back. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, let's. Uh, we're going to take a look at some other numbers here. All right, we're going to take a look at some numbers that that more kind of like affect you know people's real life. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so we're going to put Bitcoin into perspective here. Okay. If you invested $1,000 into Bitcoin when the Fed last cut interest rates, here's how much it would be worth today, okay? So just to give an idea, right? At that time, one Bitcoin was priced at $5,392. Accordingly, an investment of $1,000 would have fetched you, oh my gosh, 18% of a Bitcoin for 5K. That's, that's so nice. Anyways, uh, so today, the price of one Bitcoin is ballooned out of 63K, okay, meaning that that 18.54 Bitcoin would be worth 11,831, and take a look at that. You know, I mean, we're talking USD, I know I get it, but look, 1,000% returns. What is this, I mean, Phil? Like, you have to talk percent. price. It's almost, yeah, it's almost like you, it's have, you want to move the conversation on from, like, from lightning, as if as if the authors of the lightning white paper are drier and poon. And I'm not joking. <laughs> uh, so wait a second. Speaking of which, speaking of which, have you heard the rumor that uh, – I actually heard this yesterday um, – that uh, supposedly MasterCard founded uh, lightning. It was, it was MasterCard. So – yeah, Joseph Poon and uh, Tajay Drija didn't really write that white paper. It was really MasterCard behind the scenes. Oh, it's Dri 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 Tajay Drija. I was close. I thought Drija like what? Yeah, I mean you're probably right. I'm not actually great at pronouncing people's names, so <laughs> just you know, kind of putting that out there. Yeah, that's right. The lizards. The lizards started lightning. All right, guys, this is uh, this is going to wrap up the numbers, and we're going to move it on over to. The Fireside Chat.
The Fireside Chat is brought to you by our newest sponsor, ThunderFunder. Check them out at ThunderFunder.com. They're a funding portal registered with the SEC and a member of FINRA. Their mission is to provide retail investors access to investments while supporting the growth of open source projects. Check them out at ThunderFunder.com. We like Bitcoin. Buy our shit coins. All right, guys, welcome back to the Fireside Chat. As you know, we've got Sir Ulrich, who has graciously decided to create content with and for the Pleb Underground. My dude, obviously, I've told you that it's it's an honor, first of all, to be working with you and, you know, to be creating content with you. Um, but yes, man, also amazing to have you as a guest on the show, on the weekly show. Welcome. No, I mean, I, I think it's a, it's a privilege to be working with you guys. Uh, I mean, you guys are part of my Bitcoin journey, you know, starting my own walk and learning. What is this besides number go up besides, you know, a, some tradable asset? What is the what is the essence of why we're here in the first place? So I'm a, it's a dream to be working with you now. I've, I've been we've been interacting, you know, mind melding with all different types of ways to be more creative, more engaging with the audience and uh I've learned things from you. You've learned things from me. It's a, it's a privilege. It's fun. Dude, absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, let, let's dive into it because obviously I think that this is going to be uh, kind of like more about content creation. Um, and, and on that, uh, on that vein, right. You've created content for, I, I feel like multiple places uh, at, at this point. I mean, kind of, you know, like you, you have a bit more of a lay of the land, right? Like, as you know, I, I did fun with Bitcoin, which was just audio only, not the same thing as creating video content and at a different time in the Bitcoin journey. And then, of course, there's simply Bitcoin and now Pleb Underground. But for you, you've created content uh, also, if I'm not mistaken, for, for Bitcoin Magazine and for Swan. Is is that correct as well? I mean, and 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 more than that, I think and I've written, yeah, I think I've written about I want to say more than a dozen, not not necessarily two dozen articles for for Bitcoin Magazine. I've written for Satoshi's Journal. I've probably written two pieces for them. I've written two pieces for Simply Bitcoin. I've written two pieces for you guys. I've written two or three pieces for Swan. How many of uh, the articles pay? Because I know like it's hard to get paid for articles, right? None, none. The oh. only the only place that you know that was all out of the kindness. Bitcoin the, Magazine the paid for the. Bitcoin Magazine pay for features in the physical magazine, that, but not for the correct. website. Yeah, that is correct. So th once I start, once I started, kind of, I don't want to say being dis disenchanted with them, but I mean, kind of, yeah. Um, you know, I think I don't want to say ordinals were coming out around that time, but you know, maybe the conference wasn't as you know, starting to listen to some of the plebs, and it's like, what is this conference for? Is it becoming more corporate? Blah 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 that kind of like you know maybe i could you know spread my wings elsewhere i started networking harder with swan i started networking harder with you guys and simply bitcoin say hey you know i like to write articles you know would would you take some of my content uh and you guys were you know gracious enough to receive it and so i i never stopped writing i never got paid either it was all for because people have passion and most yeah like you say most people with the exception of the big big a-listers that may show up in the in the online magazine they no one gets paid i mean maybe maybe you may get it like a greg foss from back in the day if he wrote something on on bonds then he they may throw him a few hundred bucks but it's just not the uh there's so much there's so many willing participants out there it's just supply and demand you know it's like you can't demand that you get paid if you have 200 other people waiting in line to say like oh i want to write something and so it's like it's it's essentially free labor and people are in happy free labor as well. At least it was back then. I don't know how it well, is now. It's, it's quite a clever affinity scam for some for some of these people because essentially it's like the the deal is is you get uh, affinity in the community. I wrote an article for Bitcoin Magazine, which sounds like a you know a a, a big deal. Uh, but I, like I think for the certainly for the website, yeah, they they do kind of let anyone write one. Why? Because well, it's ad money, right? So, like, you know, if it's content. Content is a free free ad money if you're a, of but a they certain do have, size. They do have authors on their payroll, though. 
I mean, there's they do have yeah, like I remember like Namasios, I think was a continuous. Yeah. But what I'm saying uh, is that like the, 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 like ra the random absolutely, but the random con contributors that like there are there are hundreds of players oh, that yeah, have written right. articles and no none of them none of them have gotten paid, right? Like it's the that's right. But now at the same time, the magazine. I'll I'll say this though, when I first got my my calling you know this this calling from i have to let everyone know about bitcoin and i was like where do i where i wrote i, I remember i wrote something in my bed didn't have a place to put it. i just said i have to write this these thoughts and where do i where do i send them so i started looking it's like do i publish it like do i ask someone to publish it everywhere that i looked it was like you need journalistic experience i'm like you know, I, I, my first piece, I sat on it for about a month. And I'm like, what do I do this? Let's talk to my coworker who's a Bitcoiner. It's like, yeah, it's pretty good. You should publish it. Well, where? Like, I'm not just going to publish it myself. So out of all the places, Bitcoin Magazine was actually the only place that said, we don't care about your credentials. If you have a good story, it fits, uh, fits with our narrative and you're not, you know, you're not a, a blabbering idiot, uh, we'll take it. And so when I sent it in, uh, CK was the was the editor at the time. I, I swear I sent an email uh, to the editor at bitcoinmagazine.com. CK responded within an hour and he said, I like it, it's great, I'll take it. And from that point on, I became a contr constant contributor. About every six weeks I had another piece for them and I was a part of this little community. And and so began my Bitcoin journey. My Even though I was a Bitcoiner before mm -hmm. for like at least a year, year and a half, it wasn't like the community, the, the cultural aspect began. Did with... you get some freebies? So oh, like the way that I yeah. describe it is that like, Conference no? Conference ticket. Yeah, conference exactly, tickets, there you go. So, yeah. so the way that the way that it works is in Bitcoin, you have to work for your freebies. Like I talk about this this a lot. It's like like um, I, I I bumped into Rockstar at a conference and he's got like some some new like a uh, card with like light up laser eyes that I'm never even gonna use, but I think they're cool as fuck. And so I'm like each time I'm like Rockstar, give me give me the new card. He's like okay but we have to do a thing like, what do you mean it's like we have to like record a little video where i'm like demoing the car i'm like fine whatever like give me the freebies and now and he, he gives me like you know asanoa like pins or like i don't know a bunch of like stuff but you you have to you have to do something for the freebie you don't just get the freebie for free like that's that's, that's not how it works i think well at that, what a freebie that's... is that I know, <laughs> right nonsense it's it's swag but at the same time like it's it's not the same transaction that we're used to like here here's some money or here's some time here's like a vast amount of time i think it's a it's a it's kind of like this weird network economy where it's like if you meet someone and you you know and you get a good vibe with them you can collaborate in a way where both y'all may not be I literally money. brought you back to life and yet you're gonna like still make me like work the freebies like see it's what ridiculous. i'm saying Dude, you resurrected him, and he still made you do that. Some people are ungrateful, but like, Rockstar, you know. Man. You know? Got some balls. <laughs> Don't Got comment. Balls. Anyways, I'm just saying. I've only shaken his hand. <laughs> no, no, he's a good dude. I'm just, <laughs> just saying, you know, like, no shame. No shame, you know? No, Rockstar's Anyways. a good guy. No, no, I know. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just clowning him. Uh, but, okay. So back to... Uh, Ulrich, I, I just obviously I, I want to pick your brain about this. Having having uh, created content for, and you also create content for Coinbeast, right? Uh, as well, oh, I, I forgot. Coinbeast actually, Media, right? Yeah, How can we so forget funny, about like, Coinbeast Media. Good dudes. <laughs> Everyone forgets about Coinbeast Media. Don't which forget, sucks. So like, which sucks. They're so they're so great, and it's like yeah. I I also have my own podcast that is similar format to you guys. I think, except I kind of focus more on uh, it's sort it's almost like a full fireside chat, and for so for a whole hour. I'm literally all about that person that's that's mm -hmm. across from me. And while we do touch on Bitcoin stuff, or it's more about, you know, the numbers or where it's going or where it's been, it's more about how have they impacted Bitcoin? I know it's like so, you know, egotistical, like, what have you done for Bitcoin? And it's like, but I, I think that kind of stuff is important because it's not necessarily about what they've done to propagate Bitcoin, but it's more of what they've done to bring others to bitcoin and that's what that's what we're here for that's what i'm here for and so i like i like to talk to people including yourselves in in past wait episodes. i thought we're trying to get rid of people so the price drops so we can buy more isn't that the plan <laughs> you know i think there's a lot of normies out there who will easily keep the price suppressed for long enough so yeah. we can get as many sets as possible well, I, th I think we're gonna <laughs> have you been out there lately in wrecked that are, that are gonna keep the price suppressed yeah. suppressed Absolutely. for a while but uh yeah yeah 
Okay, so going back to the uh, the content creation, having created uh, content uh, for so many um, for so many different you know different companies or and and just you know different avenues, I, I'm very curious. What ha have you found like a common theme? Just anything, whether it's you know positive or negative or something that maybe even kind of surprised you. I think that my transition from writing to video creation, um, especially the short form, the podcast, I think is a little less impactful uh, on your time, but the time that you commit to creating the videos and then uh, the nuances, the things that the, the things that you have to include in order to um, to make it work. I think that writing allows you to kind of sometimes you get into a vacuum where you could be writing to yourself and you're not necessarily not necessarily worried about who's consuming it or for what reason but because when you when you make a video and you're publishing it on a major centralized platform like YouTube, Rumble, wherever, um you're going to get your stats back immediately and that's something that I didn't get when writing so for years I was writing stories to myself um, I wanted to write about how the Protestant Reformation mirrored the Bitcoin revolution. I wanted to write about how the sports industry, you know, would be demonetized by a hard, mon hard money economy. And, you know, Bitcoin is peace and will demonetize war. How many people really care about that? And so I didn't get the immediate feedback on when I wrote that thing. I look at it and it's like, oh, wow, that's a pretty damn good article. But the market, the free market, or maybe the impacted free market of the algorithm that's YouTube. Um, when they give the feedback, it's like, you know, yeah, you may have spoken well and cover all your points, but uh, it's not what the not what the people want. So you kind of have to meet people a little bit halfway. And sometimes it doesn't necessarily mean compromise your ethics or virtues. Sometimes it just means that you have to understand the formula of what uh, what creating a good video is about. Like for instance, having a nice hook. You know, when you don't just start talking about what you want and jumping all over the place, make sure that your thoughts are clearly um, outlined and write your outline first sometimes before you start before you start talking into the that camera. That sounds but, like nonsense. You should just start talking and, and you know, be be natural. That this is this is how content, real content, is made, sir. I wish it was um, the case, but I do it, think I do think you should at least have some idea of the the, the major talking points. Absolutely, right, right. Um, it doesn't there, have to there be should, a full there should be some sort of some sort of structure, um, uh, or like it, you need someone who is structured, and then you know the other person can can you know do more that's flair. What, and that's what a team I, is. Some, Go ahead. Go ahead, Phil. I, I wanted to ask you. So, so let me ask you this because this is something that I've noticed um, in creating content. Is it possible that the audience of Bitcoiner has changed? Because, right? Like, if we go back to like the 2017. Wait, there are homogenous audience, Phil? No, not necessarily. But I like think of it like this, right? Like, there's a different type of Bitcoiner that that on average seem to have come to Bitcoin in 2020 during COVID than the people who showed up to Bitcoin in 2015 to 2017. You know what I mean? Like for whatever reason. I mean, I'm a 2018er, so like yeah. I, I, I don't know. It's a bit weird. Like I'm somewhere in between. Exactly. Um, no, but exactly. But I, I think I feel like I feel like 20 2021 people and onwards, not 2020, 2021, like the like the the kind of late Maybe. bull and and onwards, like uh, people more tried people, people who are down, you know? yeah, yeah, but people are also fans. down, like sailor sailor maxis, um, power law maxis, all of these people that love all well, of the, just, the 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 uh, the 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 fans of the 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 trad fi, you know, like the typical trad fi. I really hate the term styles. number go up technology. Like why? Like these people love number go up technology, even though they don't really know. Like they haven't really known it. They've only really known like number good like number basically go sideways technology. Like, <laughs> and I but just so, think it's it's it, 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 like sometimes Bitcoin is over meme things. Like I, I I love memes, but like number go up technology is retarded. What Bitcoin has is not number go down technology, but it's too much of a mouthful. Um, because yeah. the point is, is it doesn't you know 
get debased. Um, yeah. And that's what it is. It's anti-debasement technology. But people don't want to hear that. They want to see they want to see green green candles. And the catch is we shouldn't be seeing any candles under Bitcoin standard. There should be no, there should be no inflation or Apparently inflation. There were hundreds of green candles in D Diddy's house. <laughs> we had to bring Diddy into this, didn't and, we? And a lot of and a lot of baby oil, right? But I I think to back back to your point Fresh about the, gen the generations. Um, I've not done a piece about this, but I've talked about this pretty extensively to some people, and I would say that like that 2020 crowd. Like and Walton coming in 2018, kind of in between a certain a certain generation, but it's like I feel like the generations mirror the cycles kind of, um, and I feel like like you could say that really really early Bitcoiners could have been potentially analog analogous or or similar to Occupy Wall Street people. Um, you could say that um, or true cryptography people, people who who are actual cypherpunks back in, you know, we're talking 2011, 2012 days. And then you start getting into, you know, 2016, 2017 days, you probably had people that understood money. Oh, sorry, back up. 2011, 2012, there were a whole bunch of Silk Road users. Like, and that was like a vast majority of them. I don't know if that's true, but like, there's, there's a huge numbers, like we're, we're, we're not just like, I can't think what you were saying, but I think early, like earlier, I agree, crypt, crypt, like crypto punks um, and some like libertarians. But then you also had like a whole bunch of like, yeah, like Silk Silk Road users, 2011 yeah. to 2013. Mm. I may have missed someone. Yeah, but that is true. And they weren't necessarily, hey, the, a, a means justifies an ends. They said, hey, we need to get this. We need to have these transactions without without the government watching us. So they piled into that. I mean, the drug users, drug dealers, all types of people were on that platform. They didn't, they, they just knew that they had as much more privacy than they need, than they had dealing in dollars and more mm. access to people. Um, but then, I mean, then you go back to 20. I think it was even about privacy. It was more about censorship resistant is that like the payment couldn't really be stopped. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think people really thought it was like fully pro. I mean, I, but I, I do think there's a huge amount of those amount of those Silk Road like guys that are now like spending spending Bitcoin. That's right. And then when you think about the 2020 people, like something had to wake those people up. And I think that even though I was like like dabbling in crypto in 2017, I remember I bought Bitcoin just to go buy Tron. Um, and it's like, oh. Donald Trump says something bad about Bitcoin or crypto, it goes down. I forgot I even had it. Um, but when 2020 came around, I started waking up and not because not because the money was dying. I didn't see the money was dying yet. But then when the, the world shut down, I'm like, well, why is the world shutting down? My dad, libertarian, he's the one who says, OK, now you should pay attention to Bitcoin. I listened to him. I'm like, OK. And there's a lot of people that came in because of the world shutting down. It knocked sense into a lot of us, whereas and some people just put on masks and continued on um, until they probably saw that number go to 60 something. And then that say, oh, wow, yeah, like number go up. And that's where you start seeing those people, even though Sailor came in 2020, around the same time as mm -hmm. me, uh, those people essentially saw Sailor and they need a hero to well, worship. It's like but that yes. person, that person, we want to follow him because he's the chief Bitcoiner. So they need a flag waiver. And it's like, they need a bannerman. It's like, no, you don't actually need a bannerman. So it's like a lot of people came in in this phase where it's like they came in for similar because of similar event, but for some people forked off for the right reason. Some people forked off for the wrong reason. And now you see, I'm sorry, my alarm. Now you see micro strategy maxis. And not to say it's not, it's, or it's not bad to own a micro strategy stock. But like, dude, what are you here I think for? They're called MSTR hmm. betas, I believe is the term. <laughs> MSTR betas, yeah. But yeah, and that's and then going back to the making content, that's kind of the audience that you have to cater to. Like, what are you, it, as the Bitcoin audience who's watching YouTube videos grows, who are you catering to? Are you catering to you know people that want to hear that number go up? It's going to a hundred thousand. Well, we heard that last week. What what's happening this week? It's going to a hundred thousand. Oh, okay. It's going to a million. Okay, that's that's new. And then they say it's going to a million again. How many times do you have to hear that in order to say we get it, well, but why? And most people. I mean, Odell kinda... said it was going to a million last cycle, so therefore it should go to a million, at least a million this cycle, right? Isn't that of how it works? Of course. Well, I mean, now at this point, we're up to the ten millions and the and the hundred millions, and and we're starting to million. see. 
right? 13 million. We're starting to see the, uh, what's it called? Um, the, there was a drop. There was an article drop that uh, Tales, uh, TFTC put out that uh, Larry Fink is, you know, like it was like one of these really catchy headlines, right? Like the how Larry Fink is going to fix the $35 trillion dollar death problem with Bitcoin. Like, uh, don't worry see? about it. We'll talk about it in Hopium. It's okay. Don't worry. It's all good. Yeah. Um, and I, and I, I would, I would, before you ask another question, I would say that that was, hmm. that has been my biggest um, issue with me making content that I've, that I tried not to sacrifice the, the ethics and the stick to why I wrote my first piece in the first place, because it's better for you. It's better for every individual um, as a individual liberty enabler, defender, um, and that's because of that, it's valuable. And I feel like people skip that and just want to hear, you know, six figures, seven figures, eight figures. And I don't want my content to do that. And they, therefore, it could potentially do less, um, le perform less than the the rival content that would essentially just talk about Bitcoins going up because BlackRock bought it. I'm like, that's just boring. I'd rather just go lift weights. The, you know, like the, the, this is the thing, right? And you know that that type of content, unfortunately, um, even though it brings in the numbers, it, it's it's very shallow and it, it just it, it kind of has no substance, right? Like you're, you know, what it kind of reminds me of? Um, it kind of reminds me of junk food. You know, like it's you you get full on the second, right? And you maybe feel good for thirty seconds, but not too long after, you're just starving because your body never really got any nutrients. Whereas, whereas, right, when you actually pay attention to what's going on in Bitcoin, you know, like, and you're actually paying attention to what the devs are doing, and you're seeing, you know, these fantastic developments that Walton is going to bring up in Hopium that I am not going to spoil right now, okay, man, you get, you get bullish, right? And you're like, you know what, I'm yeah, enjoying, I'm, I'm enjoying, <laughs> I'm enjoying hearing the $10 million price tag, but you know what? I I don't really care because I'm really focused on on what's actually going on. Like I don't even need to hear about it, you know, because it's just not on my radar. Like I I can already see that things are building out, you know, and Bitcoin's going to do whatever it is it's going to do. So, yeah. Okay. Um, switching gears though. Switching gears. So, um, back to the uh, back to the content. Um, I'm very curious. I'm definitely very curious. Maybe you can share with some of the, uh, you know, some of the viewers what type of content you have in store, you know, for the future for for Pleb Underground. I know that we've talked about doing a, a separate live show with uh, with Humble Bitcoiner as well, but just just your thoughts on the type of content that you know you'd like to you'd like to create here. Well, you know, I again, I'd like to continue what I was doing with Swan, which is essentially, you know, the short 10 minute videos that kind of that that tell a, a story that's generally evergreen, it may point to some, some uh, current events, but it's the type of thing that you'll open up, um, whether the day I release it or a year from now, and it should be relevant to what you're going through. Um, it should be relevant to what you're experiencing, talking about Gresham's law, talking about what Bitcoin is going to demonetize, talking about cust you know, custody or pr first principle rights. Uh, and then every episode, I kind of want to draw attention to like this, like a quote, one quote that you can kind of take home with you and actually just turn it into a meme. And I've done that with my first two videos. One was quoting, and it could be either good or bad. Uh, one video was Karl Marx talking about the creation of central banking, uh, or picture, I should say. The next one was Jimmy Song talking about what what a Bitcoiner should be interested in. And another one was myself uh, quoting, this is what Bitcoin politics should look like. And mm. so I try to incorporate that where it's like, hey, you can take, you can watch this video and take something from it and share with people in a mimetic, in a mimetic sort of way. Um, and so I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay consistent with that. And I, I like to be in when I make my content, I like it to have a signature. And so while with my with my new product on Pleb Underground, I want that signature to be, you know, whether my sign on and, or sign off, you know, I'm Sir Ulrich, like my father before me, but also have, you can find something in that video that you can take with you, literally physically repost it, share with your friends. Maybe it goes viral one day, but um, also, you know, opportunities to do a live show. Um, you know, Humble has been, hinting at that, I think it would be a, a great opportunity to kind of do like this roundtable podcast and maybe get away from 
you know, pure Bitcoin stuff and more just about what's happening in the world and having having us comment on it. I think that would be interesting. Uh, I think creating a social environment in real time, uh, which you just kicked off with the with the Pleb Underground Telegram. I think it's a great opportunity to engage and engage with our audiences. And I think the good thing about Pleb Underground is that people can send you a DM, Phil, before I was, uh, you know, two years before I was ever a part of Pleb Underground, you know, I was in your DMs, you were in mine, and we developed a rapport and you always felt like you had time uh, for the people who consumed your product. You truly appreciated us. And so I think that, you know, this telegram um, bringing people in of like-mindedness, or guess what, maybe slightly, maybe not fully like-minded, but like like enough to understand we're here for the right reasons, which is essentially enabling the plebs to be sovereign individuals. And so, so we start that telegram. It's going to be great. Very well said. Well, All right. We're going to be posting that telegram link in the uh, in the show notes, man. So thank you for bringing it up. That's right. Pleb Underground made a telegram group, Sir Ulrich. He's, he's being seems... really modest, and he's just not saying that he bullied me into doing it, shamed me into doing the right thing. So, yeah, we did it. We started. My take is that <laughs> if you spend years simping Phil, then you can then you can join Pleb Underground, and that's not true. That's <laughs> that's fake news. Like, um, Walter, Phil... was I not in your was I not in your DMs as well? Please, I was well, simping yeah, you but as well. Like, you know, okay, you or know, were you in my DMs? You're not, you're not the only one in my DMs. Come on, like, Ooh! oh, what? Uh, Cheating with the brother. spice. That's right. <laughs> but uh, you know, well, Pleb, Pleb, Pleb Underground has been has been a family from 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 day one. Um, yeah, very um, nice. But uh, and, it's, it's always and, always good to be to be to be growing growing the family. I yeah. tell you this when I met when I first got my podcast uh, with Coin Beast, uh, and it was called Sir Ulrich Hosts Money Matters, and now it's called Eyes of Liberty. Be sure to check that out, um, everyone watching. But these two guys were were the first on that list to say, I have to get them uh, on my show. And I purposely skewed them to be closer to the conference because I knew I'd be hanging out with Walton. Uh, we'd have a little preview of like what we're going to talk about uh, at the conference. I don't even think we got there, but we were just like just the conversations that I have with you guys are uh, eternal. They're uh, they're genuine. And uh, I remember after Walton got off my show he said like i want i can't wait to do this again and uh i can't wait to bring you guys back on for season two eyes of liberty it's like blue colored you know it's kind of cute sweet <laughs> okay we're gonna add you're gonna have to give me uh you're gonna have to give me all I'll of your links link. yeah yep. after the uh the show so that uh, we can post them in the show notes does it have like a, does it have an eagle come in eyes of liberty oh is it like is it like something yes like are the... you are you teasing me because that's exactly what it is <laughs> I, I just i just pictured it and then it's like america and there's like some flames and like a motorcycle it's, and but apparently, I made the logo apparently it's fake news apparently like the the like the bald eagle actually sounds completely fucking retarded and the like the the noise that people think actually is a bald eagle is like a sparrow hawk or something and the like and it, it's fake news that the bald eagle actually sounds like a boss um so tell me it's a shit coin not surprised uh, yeah I mean, why is like, everything it just, a shit it just coin? sounds yeah what's going on because centralized it's... scams bro we're getting screwed we're getting screwed all right guys this is gonna wrap up the fireside chat sir ulrich again man it was absolutely awesome awesome to have this nice the the first of many i actually i mean i know we've had you on before but this is the first of you being in the pleb underground fireside chats that's right so guys uh it's gonna wrap up the fireside chat and we are gonna move it on over to wrecked wrecked is brought to you by cypher safe check them out at cyphersafe.io you guys know i'm a pet rock enjoyer this is the bitcoin pet rock check out the bitcoin Rolo triangle 16 ounces of solid titanium. That's pure pet rock action right there. Check it out at cyphersafe.io. Okay, we got three, three wrecked stories today. Let's get started. Okay, so, I mean, it, it's no surprise, right? Like Coinbase is pretty much, you know, it has pretty much taken over the illusion that is an L2 on Ethereum. I know that people like to pretend that, that it's not, but Coinbase essentially runs and owns Ethereum, whether they want to 
whether they, anybody wants to accept that or believe it, I really don't give a shit. Um, but uh, anyways, my point is this, okay? Coinbase eyes CBBTC integration with Solana blockchain. That's right, okay? So as if as as if the fake because rap bitcoin doesn't exist i know that i know that shit coiners want to convince you and the people who are selling this crap want to convince you that it exists okay but what's happening is this you're giving your bitcoin to coinbase they now own your bitcoin you no longer own your bitcoin no matter what story they tell you you now have this shit coin that they called wrapped bitcoin okay that's like me writing blood on a ketchup packet Okay, like that doesn't make it blood because because <laughs> I just wrote it on the packet. Okay, like, so it's like especially liquid, with Coinbase thing. It's like it's liquid. Like liquid. <laughs> That's great. Oh god. Okay, so so but now, right? Now as as if that BS activity wasn't enough, they're taking this BS not Bitcoin and they're moving this not Bitcoin to Solana to have more. Wait, if you said not BS, Bitcoin. you mean blockchain Solana? <laughs> Solana, like dude. This is, and this goes way back to, this goes back to last cycle with DeFi. This is financial activity for the sake of financial activity. And guys, DeFi, like we're, we're talking billions of dollars, okay, that were lost. People were wrecked, okay, wrecked. I always bring up the wrecked leaderboard. So just anyways, Coinbase down bad, Coinbase down bad. Nobody gives a shit about their CBBTC. And this is why they're trying to create this hype to get you to think that something is happening. Nothing's happening. Okay, moving on here. Something is happening. And you know what that is? The shit coiners are down bad. Oh, we're surprised. No, we're not. We're not surprised the shit coiners are down bad. Uh, but this is pretty funny. And the reason why I say this is because of, right, um, Donald Trump going to pub key and what spending what was it like 936 956 dollars on burgers when you when you say the shit like coins, do you mean yeah. do you mean do you mean the former galaxy digital guys that run cathedra bitcoin that that were with trump i mean uh, they're i mean they're they're kind of down bad too right uh but my point is is that i'm talking about all the people that say that you know bitcoin can't be used for you know for payments and uh that lightning doesn't work because apparently it is working and it's so funny because Accounts like Autism Capital tried to desperately tried to tear it apart and claim that the transaction wasn't going through. Anyways, let's take a look at this quick little video, okay? Who wants a hamburger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. These suckers are good too. They make them good here. Yeah. This is a crypto burger. <laughs> no, it's a Bitcoin burger. Actually, Bitcoin actually, burger. you should name them. Name them right. Bitcoin and a crypto. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, maybe we'll talk about this for a minute. Yeah. So, um, Nathan, what are your thoughts? Crypto burgers, uh, you down? Like I said, um, the, the the guys um, posing in the video with with Trump are Cathedra Bitcoin guys. Just to just to show yes, you. Yes. Who is Cathedra um, here? Man, man, child with a mustache, Mr. Drew Armstrong, president and chief operating officer, who joined Cathedra from Galaxy Digital. Uh, Galaxy Digital, of course, being um, Novogratz's uh, uh, scammer empire, um, and uh, his his buddy uh, Antonin Scalia uh, began his career at J.P. Morgan uh, Investment Bank. Uh, uh, and then was also at Galaxy Digital. Oh, mm. look, uh, Drew Drew Armstrong was at Barclays Investment Bank. So, like these these guys are like tr tradfi shit coiners that that went public on the New York Stock Exchange, and uh, of course, therefore, uh, are now mixing in the same circles uh, as other n people of importance in New York, such as uh, Donald J. Trump, and so uh, you know, uh, uh, and probably actually, you know, gave him some money uh, as as part of uh, the the cabal of Bitcoin as bribing Trump to talk talk about Bitcoin. Um, yeah, interesting. Strings. Okay, interesting. So, are you making the claim that that Bitcoiners are quote unquote because let's face it, right? It's campaign donations. Is oh, it not? Like, so like, campaign like, well, donations. Okay, so, 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 so I had a number, uh, and I forget from who, but it was a very, it was a very, very reliable resource, uh, source in uh, in Nashville that that Trump 
um, was getting paid twenty million dollars uh, for his appearance in Nashville. Now, my my take on that is not that he actually got a twenty million dollar check, but that he was going to gain a total of twenty million dollars over some period of time from the, from the Bitcoin community through a series of uh, you know appearances and and de like you know it's 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 a two way thing of like well we want some like trump affinity scam you want some bitcoin affinity scam we're going to we're going to cut a deal here um does yeah. this make does this make us does this make us just like hypocrites not us phil not us no, phil this is I, you know bitcoin. but it's this it doesn't matter bitcoin not the plebs. but it's bitcoiners bitcoin. I, i'm just no, it's i'm not. plastering no, it all it's together not. corporate bitcoin is shit but this is the way it's viewed by the public fiat maxis. corporate I don't bitcoin disagree. is our fiat maxis well what but i'm just saying you know like like and that and that that yeah okay people don't he, make he that decided, differentiation you he, and i do I, ulrich does what what they should have done was actually just pay for the pay for the the, the all the burgers individually because actually it might have been faster or done them in like smaller batches because trying to do like a payment of like almost like what was it like was it like 0.15 something of on on the over lightning it's like 940 like, bucks doing doing like doing <laughs> like, like wait no no was it it yeah, was it was like 900. Oh, oh, sorry. So it's like one one USD. and a half million sats. Okay, yeah. so still not a not a crazy payment. But the re apparently the reason it took so long, there's like a, a whole bunch of like stuff going on there. I blame maybe some invoicing system uh, that was uh, maybe was being used in a self custodial way, but still, um, mm. unfortunately, the more like yeah bits of software you have talking to each other, the longer things can take. Um, who would have thought, huh? Complexity is not good. Well, this is this is this is this is the Who downside of of a lack of <laughs> vertical integration in yeah. in in a technological stack. It means that like you don't have the same, you just can't. Like, you can't have the same pace. It's just not possible. Yeah. All right, Ulrich, any thoughts on the Trump do, Bitcoin? Do you think it's a bad advert? Yeah. Like to me, I think it is. Like I don't. I think it, yeah, like, I don't that, think that's it was a bad advert for Lightning. Lightning is usually pretty fast. Like it was. So that, look, that didn't look good. Like for 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 as an advert for Bitcoin to me, um, like I autism capital was like wrong about something, but I I think yeah. they were right about the overall tone of like it it, it didn't like. And of course, some shitcoin is going to be running around parading about it, but like it it didn't. It didn't look great as like a UX thing, like especially when it's like, oh, for a boomer to use it, you have to take your phone off them, take their phone off them, and do it for them, and they just stand and watch. And so it's not really them doing it. Like I hate that. That looks terrible. This was a lot of the me. criticism as like, well. Terrible. Like yeah. the whole point is, it's it, it is user friendly enough for someone to guide them. Maybe they don't, shouldn't be mm. taking it off. Like that's so stupid. Like I don't know how much you you paid Cathedral Bitcoin uh, to have drinks with Trump or whatever, but like, I mean, I bet you guys actually paid for the for the for the burgers, right? For the crypto burgers, so good good job. Supposedly Stash. he's the one that actually paid for it, but we'll we'll see. Ulrich, what are your what are your thoughts on this before we move to the last story on Rekt? I do I do like Walton's take on the on the marketing for Lightning. Um, mm. I do, however, understand. We do smart people, I think, or intelligible uh, people understand that, you know, when something happens in sort of this dynamic way and there's no one like they didn't have their public relations team there. They, they didn't have the they didn't have the development team there that say, OK, step by step. They didn't rehearse it. And so you're trying to, you know, show so if you did that with Venmo. You know, if, if Venmo was there to pay for the burgers and Trump never did paid with Venmo before, you probably have the same issue. Um, and so I don't really, you know, someone who is going to use this as a way to holistically judge um, a layer two Bitcoin product, uh, then that's their own shortcoming. And they're going to be wrecked by their own judgment of basically jumping to conclusions. Oh, you're going to jump to you're going to say that this is the truth for Bitcoin, but you don't believe anything else you see on the news. You don't believe you 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 doubt everything. Uh, trust half of what you, half of what you see and nothing that you hear. Um, so therefore, if you see this and it's like everyone says lightning doesn't work, 
maybe this is the time to be a contrarian. It's like, why would you say that? What do you mean by that? Why would why would uh, autistic capital say that lightning does work? Maybe you have maybe he has incentives to make sure that people don't fall in line with using Bitcoin layer two and saying this is the only payment solution we actually need, at least until it's able to scale, which, you know, I'm not sure that can or not uh, that I just don't do my own research. And I will say with the uh, I don't do enough research in regards to that. And from Trump calling things crypto burger, Bitcoin burger, look, people have to understand that this guy is not a Bitcoiner um, and that he's he has his own crypto product and his kids are going to pump it up as good as they can and i feel like i'm so tired of seeing people post like he look at him he's mag ethereum i just don't care i don't care that he is a big isn't a bitcoin or i came to the bitcoin conference that was the whole premise of keeping the politicians out of it now you care about every single action they do we have we have Samson Mao having an Ethereum video game. And for some reason, he's still in the Bitcoin community. We have all types of Bitcoin C CEOs. Corey Clipson used to used to be involved with the, with the cryptocurrency. Now, mo half of at least half of Bitcoin Twitter likes him. Uh, Max Kaiser had a Now people go to like live events with him and talk to him and things. It's crazy. I, I see how I set you up. That's called, a, that's called an assist. <laughs> um but it's like at least, Matt, at least they wear pleb underground t-shirts while doing so so you know represent. there's, there's trade-offs in this game so Corey's my neighbor and my former employer hey you want to go interview fred krueger i'm going to say go fuck yourself Corey. come on now it's like you know no, it's no. like you know uh but anyways walton mr in bitcoin magazine mc i love you um you know <laughs> there you go i just i just feel like we have all the these episode. we expect these poly these what whoever we expect in the moment to be perfect um and then we chastise them or we don't chastise them we 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 turn the other we turn we turn the uh, the eye for for trump because we love him or we chastise him because we hate him but then you're a hypocrite with all the other people that you interact with in the bitcoin space max kaiser samson mal Corey clipston me you guys um mm. we have to realize that this guy has a has a job to do, and it's not to be your Bitcoin cheerleader. That's um, whether right. You, whether you choose to vote for him or Kamala, um, they have they're trying to pursue the job, and it's not to be your lead Bitcoin or lead crypto cheerleader. You know, gr grow up. Very well said. Very well said. All right, we're gonna move on to the last story here, and just just prepare because this is yeah, get ready. This is cringe AF. Let's go. But then again, most of Wrecked is is pretty cringe AF anyways. Uh, and speaking of which, all right, this is a retweet from Need Creations, right? Fellow Bitcoiner. We love him. Good dude. Uh, yeah. Ethereum down bad. I got to tell you, I got to tell you, every single narrative, right? I, I've been in this space now since, like, I mean, actively paying attention to all of the BS news and filling my mind with all of this garbage uh, since about 2017, 2018, right? So it's like six, seven years of this complete nonsense, okay? And there's not a single, there is not a single narrative that has played out, okay, in their favor, for, for real, okay? The, the staking was a horrible failure. The merge, all of these upgrades were horrible failures, okay? There, there was no flippening. All of these stories, every single piece of it has all just been one horrible failure after another, and guess what? We've got another one. So your sparks are going to zero when priced in hard money. And what is Need Creations talking about? He's talking about this retweet from uh, Ryan Sean Adams. Um, sparks are ETH. So as if there wasn't enough people not using ETH already, right? As, as if this thing wasn't dead enough and garbage enough already, guess what? One ETH is one million sparks. ETH has never had a good term for micro ether. So support Spark. So I just I just want to put this into perspective. I just I just want to put this into perspective. So you have ETH. Then you have this thing that's called gas, which is actually GUE, or however you want to pronounce this crap. And now you have sparks. And all of this is crap that nobody uses. So I wonder, 
I can explain it, Phil. They... Oh, please, yeah, no. Dude, do me a so, favor. I'm having a meltdown. <clears throat> you guys are about to watch me have a stroke here. So, <laughs> so shitcoin is all shitcoin, shitcoin stuff is all marketing, right? And um, that was a spark. um like when you when you run out of like uh like shit to like add on like after the bow and the like, you know, what do you add? Well you add glitter. And uh glitter what do you call it? Sparks. 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 Edible spark edible and, glitter. And and what are what is glitter? Well of course glitter is microplastics and fundamentally this is this is the issue with shit coiners is that they've <sighs> They they they're harboring too many microplastics. They have low testosterone, uh, and they have poor decision making. Um, yeah, I can't disagree with these points. So uh, it's poetic. So uh, thank <laughs> yeah. thank you as always, um, Vitalik, for for roasting uh, the 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 people that you scam. I guess because uh, it's um it's entertaining at least. It really is, Ulrich. Uh, before we close out the uh, b before we close out Rekt, any any final thoughts on uh, on Sparks? Did did you happen to see this this tweet float by? No, not no. I I my algorithm is so clean. I love it. Um, it's, <laughs> Nobody except, cares. <laughs> yeah, a, a lot of um, <laughs> a lot of uh, clown world tweets. So I don't know that that gets a little extreme sometimes. But I see this Ryan Sean Adams guy. I, I've turned off. I think I don't I don't see any more dot ETH tweets. But I'll say this um. Again, Walton spot on again. The idea of layer layer two Ethereum, like bro, like I just feel like it's getting to the point where next cycle there may not even be Ethereum. Like I'm just thinking, like I'm I still think crypto is going to be around, obviously, but you know Solana and Ton and all these other cryptos are just going to be the next big thing. And there's going to be a point where it's like, yeah. You know, that marketing, we've done everything we can for marketing Ethereum. Oh, look, this this glitter is kind of like newer glitter and the plastic hasn't, you know, doesn't have any residue or scratches on it. Let's let's market this plastic. And that's that's Solana and Ton and all these other, you know, you know, proof of stake protocols that are that are coming up, up and coming that weren't around four years ago. Now Ethereum has competition. Now let's see if it can last with other proof of stakes. And I, I don't think it's going to, I think it's going to slowly tick away and what a death, you know, it's like it, leaving people with a little bit of hope. It's like one day it's going to turn, it's going to turn and it never does. It's it just turning. continues to sl a slow death. Like just, just shoot it in the back of the head. Right. This reminds me, and I think you make excellent points. And this actually reminds me of, um, certain narratives that I would hear back in like 2018, 2019. I'm just, I'm totally brain farting on who it was that was saying this, but essentially it was this, right? Is that there really is no competition to Bitcoin uh, because essentially Bitcoin is, uh, you know, like for, for lack of better terminology, is it, it is attempting to do battle with the central banks uh, and, and, and the central banking system, right? The, specifically the fractional reserve system, the, specifically the system that doesn't have a predictable monetary policy, all right, all that good stuff. Um, but you see shit coins, right? They can all be supplanted by each other. Like, so all you need to do, and this is, this is exactly to your point about Tron, about Solana, it's that, so now you've got a whole bunch of these Solana people, which by the way, are also making videos with them doing dancing. Is this, is this how people figure that that's how money works? Like whoever has the best dance team, like they, they have the best dance anyways. But my point is, is that now Solana's doing the same, the ETH thing, right? They're, they've got the dancers, they've got the marketing, and now it's like, look at us, we're doing a million transactions per second on our centralized garbage shit chain, you know, that A16Z, you know, controls. But I, I just, I, I'm like, I'm totally, uh, anyways, the, the whole point I was trying to make was, was that this was already a narrative that, that was being explained by Bitcoiners six years ago that this time what we are seeing now with these shit coins right as they grow up and mature that, that that we would be here and that that's exactly it like we are seeing them eat each other because that they they can um they can all just be created out of thin air right they they have nothing that tethers them to reality like it's all about who has the best marketing pretty much at this point and who has the most capital to market maybe anyways all right, guys, it's going to do it. It's going to do it for wrecked. We are done. We are wrecked. We're wrecked. Anyways, 
we are going to move it on over to the Hopium. The Hopium. We're going to keep it short and sweet this week on Hopium, cause, uh, so we're not going to talk about the options nonsense, because fuck BlackRock. Oh, uh, come fuck, on. Fuck, it was such a good no, story. No, Fiat's nonsense uh, and options on Fiat, like Fiat. Ah, like ETFs are attack on Bitcoin. Options on ETFs are like, uh, are like, uh, I don't know. It's, An attack it's, squared. It's, it's 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 like it's like you're you're stocking up diddy volumes of baby oil. Like like this this is it should be illegal. Um, and like we we're not like you know. What do they say? Once you go BlackRock, like you, you can't buy any orange, like something like that. I don't know. You didn't, you didn't prepare me for that one. No, he doesn't prepare uh, anybody for this stuff. <laughs> he does, and, and this is why I prepare myself for this stuff. This stuff just like comes, Tax. like you know. That's what she said. Uh, all right, so uh, this is why we're not a family stories, friendly show. Two yeah. two stories this week. Um, so apparently, like you guys are all wrong about Trump. Trump has been, uh, thanks, thanks to my friend McShane. Trump has actually been uh, a Bitcoin like forever. So like, because uh, because uh, David Bailey gave what? him Cassius coin. So uh, you know, cope. Um, I am coping although, right I, now. And I don't know though. And someone, I really hope Fuck like this, this is actually what happens. But like Wiz, right? The, you know, the like uh, the guy from uh, yes, no, solid Bitcoiner right? that doesn't get enough yeah. credit or attention. Yes, CEO yeah, yeah. at Mempool, right? This guy. Yeah. Did you redact the serial number, but not the barcode of the serial number? I like this because it, 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 what what uh, like come on. Come on. Like, come on. Like, come on. Like, if you can do a privacy thing, like, come on. Why is this opium? Because kind of like any, like Trump talking about Bitcoin is opium. Let's be honest. Like, um, like, it, it, is it? Oh, so we're going to shit it, on his crypto burgers, but now this is opium? No, look, look, no, the Pete, the Pete, the Pete, <laughs> no, the Pete look. It's it's not as hopeful as as the people who are spending shitloads of money on Trump w would like it to be. Um, do, do they look stupid in the process? Yes, but like some of them have got a lot of Bitcoin to spend. Like uh, you know, uh, Mr. David Bailey is, is one of them. Um, and like I don't know, if you got thousands of Bitcoin, like you kind of want Bitcoin to moon, and so mm. you start doing like I've talked about this before. These like like kind of chaotic chaotic neutral bets hmm. which are which and there's I nothing like more framing. there's nothing more like i mean i just bring really quite neutral but like there's nothing more chaotic than getting politics involved like, and getting getting like mainstream media involved and i think like the if you get politicians talking about bitcoin you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna do this um and it means it's something that people can't they can't ignore it because it, it's being talked about in the in the mainstream um and i think if it if it it does look like it's going to be a partisan issue for the election um it's going to be v very very good when kamala harris wins the election and all the trump voters become actual bitcoiners so mm. yeah have fun staying blue-haired America. Um, <laughs> but there is an exit tax, so you know, like it's you know, it's not all fun and games. All right, so some uh, of us have that, no hair. <laughs> yeah. No, not you. You're you're fine. You, you've got. You're good. <laughs> I could have spared you some, Phyllis. We got like, like I know, I got right? My haircut and it's like Look on the this. floor. It's like it's like I got dude. I got I got my haircut and they're like, uh, would you like would you like it thinned out on the sides or the like top? Of the yeah, like the whole thing. Like I get I get this thinned and it's still like you know whatever. Like, but uh, so uh, if you'd like some spare, I will I, I will send some. But you have to pay for the shipping. All right. Okay. Next. <laughs> Uh, all right, some some real TA from someone other than uh, Plan oh, D for nice. a change. Um, Dude, so I haven't William seen this guy forever. No, me neither. Uh, probably because I don't follow him. Based yeah. on history, this cycle's all-time high will be reached in 383 days' time on the 10th of the 10th, 225, when the BTC price... To, sorry, 2025, when the BTC price will be the current price of 63,000... Times five point one eight, which apparently gives you to gets you to three hundred twenty six thousand six hundred and forty one. Okay, so in like just over Whoa. a year, it being like a third of a million, that'd be quite nice. I, 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 I I'm stunned. 
Yeah. Yeah. But I'm kind of stunned. How is he just saying that? And there's no well, chart. I mean, there's yeah, no there's no I rainbows. Like, no there's chart. no lines. No, no. Hold on like a second. That. No, I like it. I like there's, it. Just like look. There's look, no paid group. Just, you can't just no, say that. Get, look, no, it's it's. <laughs> I know, but I, yeah, I kind of like it. I kind of like how bold that is. It's like he's based group? on history and it's in bold. Like he's saying, <coughs> "Go look up the chart yourself." Like it's like you know, I you know I don't you know, go look up the numbers. Like I don't, I'm not going to do that for you. Um, and I respect that um, because his handle is save into Bitcoin, and I always say that Bitcoin is a savings uh tool not a not an investment i when when people especially normies normies go oh, so you invest in bitcoin they say no i don't i save in bitcoin like you can't save in fear and i save in bitcoin and then i start showing them charts about you know house prices versus fear and house prices versus bitcoin and they start going oh, oh, oh. Huh. all right anyway um wait yeah. I think what? I think I think everything's good. Uh, obviously, Pleb Underground has a new member in Ulrich, and yeah. Oh, what okay. else? Uh, next month there are a couple of uh, you know Pleb-friendly technical events in uh, TabCon from Bitcoin Plus Plus. That's uh, right. That I would recommend people attend. Um, yeah. Very That's cool. It. Well, before yeah. before we wrap up Hopium, I, I just want to add a, a geeky social take about this Sir Rotter, Rotterdam account, uh, because I think William that there's... William of Rotherham, yeah. William of Rotherham, thank you. Yeah. So there's a lot of newer Bitcoiners who do not know who this is, okay? And this guy's like a boomer, okay, that got Bitcoin. Like, I remember when his account first appeared on Twitter, and this guy has, at least back in the day, for many years, had very base takes... I tried to get him to a few times to come on not only my Fun with Bitcoin podcast many years ago, but as well um, my labeled a low life yeah. by Tone Vase. This guy's the best. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Followed like by safety. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's. But I mean that that's fine. You know, like that's whatever. But the point is, is that this guy has awesome takes. Very few Bitcoiners today know who he is and. He's worth a follow. He's definitely worth a follow. And, uh, of course, I'd love to get him to come on the show and, and talk to us as well. But anyways, guys, guys, this is going to wrap up this week's episode. Web Underground. Walton, that was some good hopium. I wasn't expecting to see the uh, the fiat the fiat exchange hopium from you. Um, but I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. I can, I can cope with 326K, uh, you know, in less, in less than two years. Uh, don't hate me. Uh, I, I can cope with that. Um, Ulrich, any uh, any final thoughts here before we uh, before we wrap up the show? Uh, it's like a it's a it's a sweet memory to come back on the show. Uh, you guys are always killing it. My favorite show, whether I'm associated with you guys or not. So, mm. like I said, <laughs> it's a dream to be to be a part of the Pleb Underground. I look forward to creating more content with you guys and uh, and just keep on doing what you're doing. Let's fucking go, man. We are absolutely thrilled to have you join us. And guys, this is going to wrap up this episode. Don't forget to check us out on our audio-only platforms, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Anchor. If you want to stream us sats, check us out on Fountain.fm. Walton, how does this end? Fuck 58K. Yellow's right. Uh, fuckshitcoins.com please like and subscribe we'll see you next week thank you very much goodbye them's fighting words more toxic what? more toxic than the most toxic pick on Maxi ever they said he's more toxic what? more toxic than the most toxic pick on Maxi ever